Hi, I'm MPG, and welcome to my channel where I waste my wild cards on meme decks so you don't have to. And today we're playing my favorite color combo, Orzhov. A little bit of swampy poo and a little bit of plainsy poo in your life if you ever needed that. <laughs> uh, but on that note, this commander today was fun, but I wouldn't, you know, if you're looking for a powerful commander that's trying to stomp through hell Q, uh, this isn't the commander, but they still are really fun to play. Uh, they can't really keep up as well with like S tier commanders. So like the things doing all the free shenanigans or cascading or getting an insane value really early game, but they can keep up with a lot of other decks. So I kind of rank this as like more of a mid power commander just because I think this archetype is really good at like draining out the board and doing all those shenanigans. So with no further ado, let's go check out the deck list and I will see you in a second. Before we jump into the gameplay, I just want to say thank you to my Patreons, the channel members, you beautiful folks at the Saperlene level, Ishtari, JS, Brendan Such, Sasser, Queen B, TDM9, Gazanova, Snafu, and Vinny Chase. Over at the Tree Folk level, thank you Team Rooney, Frosty K, I smell death on you. And last but not least, thank you at the Planeswalker level, hi I'm Rory. All of you are the ones that make this heckin' channel possible, so thank you so much for your support. All right, friends, we are rocking Tessa Opulent Art Oligarch. Wow, that was hard for me to say. There are three CMC, Death Touch, and at the beginning of your end step, investigate for each opponent who lost life this turn. Whenever a clue you control is put into the graveyard from the battlefield, create a 1-1 white black spirit creature token with flying. And this ability triggers only once each turn. So what our deck wants to do here is focus on draining out our opponent and not a surprise with this type of architect, archetype for Orzhov. But one of the things that's super, super important for us to do is make those clue tokens, sacrifice them to make bodies that we can then, you know, sacrifice for like blood artist triggers or just straight up use Marionette Master, which is really the main win con of this whole deck. It won a majority of the games for me where you fabricate three, you put the counters on Marionette Master, then you can sacrifice those clue tokens. You can sacrifice treasures to hopefully drain out your opponent and do that last little bit. So major part of the win con for this commander and Pitiless Plunder was also super good to kind of help feed into the Marionette Master because we could potentially sacrifice the little 1-1 one -one spirit token that our commander is making to help make another treasure token to maybe do the last little bit of damage. Another card that I thought was kind of more of a fun jank win con, I wasn't able to make it work, but I got close. I think I put like four poison counters on someone, but I just didn't have enough mana to keep going. <laughs> but uh, Persuasion, Persuasive Interrogators, you sacrifice a clue token, you put two poison counters on a target opponent. And then to help with like the non-combat stuff to try to trigger our commander, I wanted to make sure we had some sort of drain where our opponents are at least losing life. So we have Blind Obedience, Blood Artist, Bastion of Remembrance, uh, Cabal to help punish if people are trying to like remove stuff from our board, uh, Sir Conrad, maybe we mill, get that little damage ping and, you know, trigger our commander at instep. And then Woe Strider and other sort of like instant speed sack outlets like Yagmoth, Yahini are really important again because if we have sack fodder out or things that we need to like trigger for our commander and we have like Sir Conrad, you know, or Blood Artist, then maybe we're getting that ping so our commander then makes that little cute one one. So overall, hope you enjoy this deck. I had fun with it. I experimented with some different cards and newer cards, which were fun. And it was a pretty controlly experience overall. So again, hope you enjoy the gameplay and I will see you out there. Hmm. It feels a little risky to keep this hand. I'm gonna do it for science. For science! What you scrying? Go ahead and bonk. Oop. I'll do that on there instead. Ooh. I like how it's a shoe. My turn. Hmm. We'll do that on there instead. No attack. End turn. Okay. 
guessing they probably needed that swampy source. Because I too need a swampy source. Oop. I guess it probably would have made more sense to wait for them to scry and then hit it so that if they wanted to keep that on top, uh, it would have shuffled it away. One creature for them. The bonk. Okay. Um, let's get smothering Tython so I can start ramping better. No attack. And I'm going to attack. Oop. Make a treasure or clue token thingy. Solve. Now, the Shentai is kind of a deal with on site commander. Boop. Ooh, and can't be blocked. All right, let's do fashion. Marionette Master will be sweet. Okay. Make a little buddy. Black market's not going to be super helpful if we. Struggling to do anything about that little buddy there. Okay. Um. Start with combat. Go here, here, here. Okay. That stupid guy is still unblockable. Let's do this. Should have sacrificed my little spirit. Risking it. Okay, that's not gonna help. Reach. Sacrifice you. And 
Whoa, Strider. I think that's gonna kill me on my upkeep. Then we can attack here, attack here. Oh, the game freeze? Hopefully I'm not like way lost here. Come on. Okay. Uh in turn. Okay. That Kaya hit was like exactly what I needed too. That was scary. would be clutch right now too. Ooh, that's a lot of treasure. And Marionette Master being out too would be insane. If we can make it through this turn, we might have a chance. I think they have enough mana to tap down my stuff this turn. Let's sack the goat. I think we'll put that to the bottom because I don't know how much that's going to help right now. And then I'm just going to sack this guy. That'll help. Pass. And then I'll wait for responses from the other thing. I think if we get Marionette Master, I think we win. Because we put in Marionette Master. Okay. See what they do. Planeswalker. Use you. Sack you. Leaving that there. Solve. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. My turn. So I think this does it. Pretty sure. Resolve. So we make a treasure, put in this planes, then we put in Marionette Master. Okay, then we save Fabricate. Good. Oh, three counters. Um, I don't know why it's not letting me comment, but let's put in you. And then that should be game. I don't know why it's not letting me comment. Alright. Whew! G heckin' G's. Old Rustin. Okay. I do like Call of the Rain. I'm worried about maybe draining ourselves out here, but mm, I'll keep. Because we have like Black Market and then Call of the Rain. <laughs> We do have some life gain, so maybe it wouldn't all be terrible. But we do need to hit our other land drops for sure. You should be proud of me. I remembered Snowlands this game for this hiking card. Oh, nar! I needed that. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Land trap. Land trap. Whew. Not punished. <laughs> we'll see in a second, I guess. Uh. Old Reston. Seems good. Honk. Let's make a treasure and draw. Ooh. Let's ramp. In case they blow up my uh, black market. Bloop. Mm -hmm. Let's get a planes. Yeah. Blood on the snow and get Solemn back. Ramp. Ramp with extra steps. <laughs> Cemetery tampering seems good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ooh. Key. Let's do this. Blood artiste. Um, let's do key. And what are we gonna get? Um, cursing grip. Put spirited companion away. No attack. I think what would make the most sense here. Trying to figure that out. Dreadhound skin. Hmm. I think blood on the snow has to happen. Or English and making works too. I do need to start gaining some life here though. Start with the land drop. So let's get rid of you. Then put you in. How many cards are in there? Okay. I think it needs 20. Yeah. Blood artist. Okay. No attack. Where are they at now? 18? Can they do it? I mean, Marionette Master, too, would be getting us some sweet stuff. With the, the treasures being sacrificed. Ooh, nice. Now they can hit their uh, hideaway thing, I think, right? Oh, they're one off so far. Sweet. Alright. YOLO. See if I'm gonna die to my own black market. Okay, let's put this friend in. Let's get Marionette Master in. And let's put three counters on them. We'll use Esper. And then I'm gonna just sack Esper now. Or actually, let's sack the Solemn. Draw a card. Gain a life. Take action. Sweet. Ooh, that's all very good. Uh, and turn and hope for the best. I did let them have that without using the crossing grip. I did take the crossing grip, but I didn't end up using it. Oh, get rocks good. Oh no! I didn't think to um, sacrifice the thing in response. My bad. I could have sacrificed that treasure in response, but I think I'll be okay actually. I end up gaining a lot of life. Okay, drew a card. Yeah, I think, I think we'll be okay. Because they can attack for one, but I'll just blow it on the snow. Yeah, yeah. 
bloop bloop. Okay, let's put it in the snow. Uh, let's do blood on the snow. Destroy all creatures. And let's get Marionette Master back. Then what we'll do is fabricate three. And then we sacrifice you for, let's say, a swamp. That's four. And then we sacrifice you for your planes. And that's the other four. G heckin' G's, opponent. All right. Hmm. Authority of the console. Probably not going to help, though, with the uh, Prosper. Orcish Bowmasters, though, might. So I'll start with the Bajuka Bog. Exiling nothing. I'm anticipating this being a loss, though. It is, uh... It is... Lay Prosper. Snow cover planes, environmental science. Uh, we'll just get another planes because we already have a swampy source in our hand. Seok. Ooh, that's really good. It's gonna get huge too. All right. Well, I think we're gonna build full mastery that because that's gonna get again ginormous. I really want to do something with this persuasive interrogators. Okay. We put in a commander. Let's do novice occultist. And then I really want this orcish bowmasters to do something. I'm kind of glad that they nerfed it. Or is it nerfed? I'm just going to flash it in now because why not? And then I'll get Commander and Blood Artist in. And I will take the Damage there. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Snow Covered Plains. We'll put in the Commander. Blood Artiste. Hold back. Ooh, they did it. Phew! Phew! Oh, sorry! I mean, it's just a treasure, dude. You'll be fine. We're gonna make some more treasures right now. You'll be fine. It's fine! Anything going easy on me. These shenanigans are about to shenan. Woo! That's spicy. As previously stated, I think these shenans are gonna start shenanin. Uh, persuasive and arrogators. We'll attack here, here, and here, I think. Oh yeah, it's going to be dealing triple damage. Ooh. That's not good. Hmm. Might be in a bad spot, friends. Oh! Yeah, it's going to not be good. It's going to be bad. Just if you control it. doesn't have to be a red source. Oh, God. Oh, God. Not great. Okay. Just have to make <laughs> two more clue tokens and have enough mana to still. S no, we need three more and enough mana to sack all of them. Games. Okay. Um, Spirited Companion. Hmm. Swamp. see what we get. I got to do one his encounter thing at least. Oh, nar. We needed Kaya, I think. 
Okay, we have Vanquish, but that's not going to help right now. Oh, Nar! I think we're just going to die to the Merkwood. Ah! Yeah, we're dead now. For some reason, I thought that made another flyer, but I didn't realize it was only once per turn. Oof. I'm surprised I didn't attack with the Merkwood. Am I alive? Is I alive? I might be alive. Ah! 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 I scream more. This is too intense. I hate it. Yeah, then just sacrifice the rest of your tokens, bro. There you go. Dang. G. Jeez. Rough. We tried. So I think there was a chance. Uh, sure, we had a good time. Um, so that was going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 creatures. 14 triggers from Blood Artist. Oh, that was a real close one. Yeah. Came down to, like, them making one more treasure. <laughs> Alright. It's gonna be a rough one. We need, like, removal or a board wipe. No witnesses. Two board wipes. I'll take that. So, put you in. Beyond. We'll get Ellison next. Okay. Ellis, a uh, death toucher, hopefully is somewhat of a deterrent. And then I'll get this Bastion of Remembrance. And their commander is just basically whenever anything attacks. And since I'm planning to board wipe, um, I'll just take this part here. We just need that fourth lane drop. No attack. Oh no. Well, oh, okay. Thought that was gonna be slightly worse than it was. I mean, it's not great, but not as bad as I thought. I thought they were gonna blow up Ellis. Oh yeah, we'll block that. I guess I could have blocked the four doesn't matter right now. Ooh, bummer. Can we top deck the land? We couldn't top deck the land! Can we top deck the land? Hmm. Would really love to. But no, it is brutal. Um. Let's block here. Block here. Come on, Arena, just give me one land off the top, baby. All we needed to get back in this. Sweet. Another land. Let's get the swampy source. Swampy swamp. Okay. Commander. I hope. Okay. Blood artist. One, two, three, four. Worm coil engine will be nice too. Oh, they're gonna blow up blood artists already. Well, if it's not exiled at the bare minimum, we can try getting it back with blood on the snow. Shock. We're shocked. Well, I think I'm gonna make a token. Yeah, sweet. Okay. I really hope I can get a land drop off the top so I can get worm coil in. 
or Chamil, kind of depending on what their board state's gonna look like. Ooh. All right. Goodbye, Commander. Okay. Land drop. Land drop. <sighs> no land drop. And a risky card to keep. Okay, let's draw. Hmm. Black market. Hopefully I don't regret that. I might die. I, I can actually make the uh, treasure token that will be desperately needed here. What's in the graveyard? Probably Ellis that we'll want to get back with the blood on snow. Okay. YOLO. Okay. That's a uh, blood. Let's try out creatures. Get Ellis back. Yep. Okay. Nice. Take the damage here. Woo! Getting risky. Okay. Uh, just do the one. Okay. Woo! Uh, blind obedience. Guild sworn. Auto pay. No attack. Then for rails, I think worm coil needs to go in. Oh, I'm so nervous here. Or would Chamil make more sense? I think it might be too risky. I think I need to get the worm coil in for some more life gain slash deterrent with the death touch. The wall of death touch. <laughs> oh, okay. Don't know if they AFK'd or what happened there. Uh, I think we can keep this. Yeah. Yeah. So turn one, get this novice. Turn two, put it in the hive and arcane signet. Boop. Boop. All right. As previously stated, hive, arcane. And Chandra can be a pain in the patootie. At least that one uptick there isn't to any target. It's just to my face. <gasps> oh, nar! I couldn't handle it. Uh, let's I and then again, Arcane Signet. I wish this was Planeswalker too, but still a good removal piece. Okay. Um, Mander, I feel like they're gonna get blown up. Yep. Rather than eat the removal. Take action. Maybe Call of the Rain would have been better and then had Kaya's Ghost Form in to back up whatever else I put in, but it's hard to know sometimes. One, two, three, four, five mana. Listen, pal, I'm with the gate watch, so you might as well give up all Oop. one floating manas. Let's do the pathway on planes. Kaya gets in. Kaya shall exile you. Okay. And Kaya will probably get blown up to some damage spell, but I'm glad we just delayed them a little bit with their Chandra shenanigans. I'll try to recast my commander too. If Kaya lives, then we'll do the little ghost form on the commander. We shall see though. Don't expect Kaya to stick around, honestly. Yep. I will remember you. Get out of here. Okay, let's see if the commander can stick. Nope. Gotta love mono red. Okay, caves. Let's do call. And screw it, why not, Sir Conrad? 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can we recast? Oh, we can recast our commander. Let's see if they have more removal to their removal. They have it. Yep. Good times. Uh, let's do Morbid. And... Hang out. Now will they blow up Morbid? They will. Resolve. Okay, Callous Blood Mage. Oh, we can get Mentor in, I think? Oh, uh, maybe not. Let's just do Mentor of the Meek. And Callous Blood Mage. Draw a card. Okay. We are trying so hard to just keep bodies on the field. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Hmm. Nope, nothing's gonna stick. Okay. Black Market Connection. Bow Strider. Now if Bow Strider gets blowed up, it can at least recur itself. And they're running out of steam, I think. So I have two cards left in hand. Okay. Sack you. Uh, I don't think we need that plane, so I'm going to put it to the bottom. Okay. We'll send. Go here. Uh, we'll boot up this friend. We are gonna go to combat because that hits planeswalkers. you in. So if you want to blow up more stuff, at least we get card draw. Alright. Put it on you. Take action. We'll just make a treasure. I don't need to lose all my life. Put this friend in. And then... Go ahead and attack. Discard you! Boop, boop. And then we'll put in Bastion. Sweet. Make a buddy. Alright. Synergy's online. We got it. Minus three, it's gonna at least deal damage to them. Uh, take action. Alright. We got there! <laughs> it's like, I don't think any of our stuff stuck on the board. That was funny, GG's. Alright, friends. I uh, hope you had fun watching. I think as far as MVP cards go for me, it's definitely Marionette Master. That is just what won me games when it looked like I wasn't gonna win. So this is definitely an important piece to have and also make sure you don't put out on the board unless you're ready to try to like do something with it because it's going to get removed right away. But overall, I think this deck was really fun. Again, it has a hard time keeping up with the more S tier commanders like the Narset that cast spells for free, uh, anything that's like Chew Lane or O'Hare where they're just going to accumulate a lot of value and get ahead where it's just going to be hard to keep pace and you know maybe get that clue token synergy set up in time but with kind of like the more mid power commanders it was able to keep up pretty decently just because again i think this archetype of orsov does a good job at just kind of once you get your sacrifice engines going to just be able to close out the game 
But yeah, let me know what are some cards that you like. Maybe I missed something from this new set that would have synergized really well here. And I always like hearing what your thoughts are about cards. So feel free to, again, drop a comment and let me know what's a cool card that you think would fit well in this deck. But anyways, hope you all have a good one and bye.